Since 1964, about 60 LNG carriers around the world have been equipped with membrane cargo containment systems developed either by Technigaz or Gas Transport. By the year 2004, this figure will have risen to over 80 vessels. In 1994, the two companies, Gas Transport and Technigaz, joined forces and became one, GTT. Its shareholders, Gaz de France, Total Fina Elf and Bouygues Offshore, ensure GTT's financial stability and R&D funding on a scale consistent with what customers nowadays rightly expect from a world leader in its field. Over the last 40 years, almost half of the LNG carriers built in France, Belgium, Sweden, Italy, Spain, the USA, Japan and Korea have been equipped with membranes developed by Gas Transport and Technigaz. Many of these vessels continue to ply their trade after 30 years sailing in the world's roughest waters. Time and again, the technology developed by Gas Transport and Technigaz has justified its reputation for reliability and safety, which is why the world's major shipyards have bought the license to fit or maintain GTT membranes, which are repeatedly approved by the major classification societies. GTT's expert knowledge of the interaction between insulation and double haul with the Mark III and NO96 systems, as well as its experience on these types of insulation, have contributed to the development of CS1, Combined System 1. The system CS1 is the CS1 system boasts a primary INVAR membrane based on the NO96, a secondary triplex membrane based on the Mark III system, and reinforced polyurethane foam insulation, which was another feature of the Mark III, with the panel sealed to the double hull. The latest membrane systems are highly efficient and extraordinarily reliable. CS1 is as reliable, if not more, as earlier systems because it is the result of even more detailed and intensive research. We invested heavily in testing and mathematical projections to obtain maximum... It is quite simply a revolution because calculation methods have considerably evolved in the last 5, 10 or 15 years, as have computer programs. And nowadays, we can simulate structural performance which we couldn't do 10, 15 or 20 years ago. Targeted tests carried out in accordance with the IMO code and in concert with classification societies cover the full range of sensitive areas. 90 and 135 degree dihedra, trihedron, fishbone tank, liquid dome, gas dome, and pump column support. Similarly tested in extreme working conditions is the resistance of all materials used in the fabrication of CS1. Foam, wood, sealants, and triplex, invar, Problems resulting from liquid motion are also carefully studied by digital analysis and simulation in the lab. 
Fitting the primary Invar membrane and the secondary triplex membrane does not take long. For the Invar membrane, the raised edges of adjacent strakes are welded at the rate of 1.7 meter per minute using... System 1 offers the same guarantees as the Mark III and NO96, increased reliability and lower fitting and running costs. Our aim, which was to reduce the cost of cryogenic insulation of LNG carriers by roughly 15 to 20 percent, it was feasible because uh, we have taken the simplest and most easily fitted parts of each system. At every stage, that was what guided us. Can I simplify the interface? Can I do something to make it easier in practice on site? Already approved by Bureau Veritas, CS1 is setting the standard for decades to come. But it is also the culmination of much patient research and the result of the inexorable advance of knowledge and technology. Thank you.